This is Harry, and I'm doing another test today. Today I'm doing a few different tests. The first test, I want to get started because while I'm doing the rest, I want this working. This is a piece of aircrete that I have, and I just want to show how the heat doesn't transfer to the other side like a regular uh, cement wood. This was a sample I did before. It's regular Portland cement and water. I've heated this up before and it got really hot and stayed hot for two hours. Meanwhile, the air creep cooled off almost instantly. So I'm just going to get this test started. You can see my flame. I don't to see it. But it's on. Oh. I got something to burn. Yeah. In case you can't see the flame. So. That's on. Okay, you can see it's hitting the air creep right there. So I'm just going to leave that and I'll come back to it uh, when I'm done with what I'm doing here to see if I can feel the heat on the back side and how long it takes for the front side to cool off. Because if this were regular cement, it wouldn't cool off for quite some time. So, a couple of guys did some air cree test and they had a higher PSI of air pressure. The recommended PSI was 65 uh, and they used 85 and 90 PSI. So, today I'm going to use 100 PSI on my air pressure. Uh, another thing I'm doing today is you pan down here I have regular cement this has um, this has the rocks in it it has the aggregate you see it had these rocks now I don't recall who but someone on the forum ran this through their green dragon and said it was a nightmare messed up the arga a little and it was a pain in the butt to clean so this cement uh, this concrete is not meant to go through the green dragon but this particular batch i have here is a 5000 psi mix so what i'm going to do is just mix this like regular and um, i'm going to add foam to it and see uh, it's windy here i'm just worried it's going to blow over anyway i'm just going to add foam to it and see how the foam works with regular concrete so I'm going to do this now. That should be enough. So that's my cement. And I add some water to this. And then I'll mix it up. I'm doing this test first because I'm going to add something to my soap solution and I don't want that to interfere with this first test. I'll show you that in a minute. So this is about mixed up now. Okay, so I have my mix done. I'm gonna take this as it is before I add the foam solution. Now I'm gonna make one little casting of a brick in my 
little cast in here. So you can follow me. So I'm just gonna fill one of these up. So this should cure to a 5,000 psi when it's when it's cured. gonna mix in my foam. My little foam generator. I already have the PSI set to 90. The soap solution is the last batch I made. It's a 200 to 1 ratio. So we'll get the uh, air on. This is my foam. Got a pretty thick consistency. Okay. So that's a bucket full. I don't know how much I should add. I'm just gonna throw in the bucket fold it in as best I can. doing this because if this works then I can make aircrete by just using a cement mixer and I can use this high PSI concrete to have the concrete that goes up to 6,000 PSI as well so maybe this will be stronger than regular Portland cement and foam and again I'm doing this because you can't run the ag aggregates like these rocks through the green dragon. But I have seen aircrete made in a cement truck where they just add the foam into a cement truck or a regular cement. So you can see it's beginning to blend. way easier with a electric cement mixer. <laughs> but I didn't feel like renting one so it's best to do a small test. And by the way this was about half a bag. Half of a uh, I think a 60 pound bag. 70 pounds. enough mix for now. I'll try this out. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pour this into that mold. A little more. I can keep it there.
Okay, so that's my uh, concrete mix. Um, I was curious how the foam would work with regular concrete instead of just Portland cement. So I'll let that cure and I'll show you the other test that I'm doing here. So if we go back here now, you can see it looks red hot on this side and um, it's uh, cool to the touch on the back side. My, my fingers are dirty, you know, you can see me pushing it. So it, it's, it's still cool on the back side, that's been going the whole time. Alright, so down here, I picked this up yesterday. It's a concrete binder and fortifier. Uh, I think they're both the same thing, concrete binder and adhesive. So um, my thinking is, since the air creep is so brittle that I can just break with my hands, maybe this bonding agent will help prevent me from being able to break pieces off. Now there's a few things I think is happening here. One thing is maybe the bubbles were too big, so making it easier to break, which is why I'm doing the 100 PSI now to um, get smaller bubbles from what some of the other guys were saying. So I'm gonna add this. Now this is a liquid, and there's no way for me to add it other than in the, uh, in the soap solution. So that's what I'm gonna try. And I'm gonna go with this one because it says adhesive on it and not fortified. So, I don't know, maybe I should be fortified first. Yeah, I'll do this one. Okay, um, so I'm gonna pour this into my soap solution and hopefully uh, it'll work. So here's my soap solution here. It's already mixed. Now I'm just gonna pour this whole bottle in because I don't know what the hell's gonna happen. So, it might not even make any bubbles for all I know. Maybe this is gonna prevent it. That's, uh, that's about half of this container here. This is one gallon, it's about half a gallon. I just put in my soap solution. So, let me see if I still get bubbles now. I still get foam. Just mix that in a little. Now this is uh, three gallons of water and two tablespoons of soap, which is a 200 to 1 ratio. So I'll put my hair on. I'm going to add another uh, two tablespoons of this since I added that concrete binder and fortifier. Um, actually, I'm going to do one tablespoon more in here. So I guess that makes it 175 parts to one. Okay, so I added that in. I'm hoping I'll get the same density bubbles in there. Batch of air creep. Get this concrete fortifier in there, and uh, we'll see. We'll see if it's stronger. Okay, so my water flow rate has been set already to one gallon a minute. Okay, 
Okay. Kind of focus on the torch. It's cool to the touch. Look. I'm touching it and it's cool. I wouldn't touch this side, but you can see it's been on there the whole time. Okay, so that's still going. Okay, so water flow rate is one gallon a minute, 175 parts to one soap to water. 100 PSI air, Portland cement, and uh, let's get a little bit. 